Hey, Shalom. This is your brother, Yuanathan. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Radash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to say Shalom to all the brothers and, of course, the few sisters who are pursuing this truth in sincerity. All right, may the blessing of election be upon your house. And I want to entitle this lesson, Extraordinary Navigation, because when the famine of the word comes, all right, and that's going to come, this ministry does have a time limit on it. Matter of fact, let me just prove that really quick. All right, so this is Matthew 24 and 14. It says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And that's happening with the Israelites scattered all abroad. You see camps all over the world bringing out this truth, bringing out prophecies. All right, most importantly. All right. Uh, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. And then in Amos, the eighth chapter, it talks about the famine of the word. What? Well, not a famine of uh, thirst for water, but a famine of hearing the words of God. Let's read that as well. All right. Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. It's going to come a time where we're not going to be able to be on the highways and byways and see places of concourse anymore. The elect are going to be sealed. And when that happens, that's when you're going to start to see extraordinary navigation. The Lord is going to be with men to navigate the treacherous times, the most treacherous time in history, Jacob's trouble. All right, verse 12. And then shall they wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro and shall seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Now, as we get closer to this threshold, all right, of actually being in the midst of Jacob's trouble, faith is going to become the main topic more and more because that's what we're going to need to actually walk the way we need to when, you know, we're confronted with all these trials and adversity. We're going to have to actually step out of the boat, man, and trust that the Lord is going to have us, okay? But the Lord is going to put a spirit on us, and we got to pray that he continues to put that spirit to walk in a bold faith on us, man, because he's the one that gives that gift. All right, this is John 14 and 12. All right, John 14 and 12. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. So we've been saying it for, you know, especially within the past few months. Um, faith is the main ingredient to where, you know, uh, these miracles or deliverance is going to happen. That has to be present for, you know, the Lord to come and sup with us. That's that's the only way you can please him. The scriptures say that as well. Faith is the only way you can please the Lord. Hebrews 11 and 6. All right. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So you want to be making your calling an election sure and believe that the Lord is going to deliver us out of this situation so we don't have to be fear in fear of this devil or the, the consequences for not bending the knee to his new world order we don't have to be in fear of the things that he's getting ready to do okay and that is going to grant us access to an extraordinary navigation in the midst of these times so there's always reoccurring themes in the scriptures when Yahweh left and was taken up after he was uh, resurrected, you know, the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples to do some amazing things. They truly had faith. All right. No one could tell them, even when they were in the, in the midst of, of death and being arrested and all these different things. No one could tell them that they didn't see what they saw. No one could tell them that they didn't see Yahweh rise from the dead. And because they believed that. It emboldened them to not fear death or to not fear what man could do to them. The scriptures tell you, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. The devil shall cast some of you into prison uh, 10 days, a complete amount of time. Be thou faithful unto death and I shall give thee a crown of life. Okay? It tells you that um, fear not them that can kill the body, but fear him which uh, can destroy both soul and body in hell, which is the most high. Right? And the fear of the Most High is the beginning of true wisdom. So we've been given a study guide 
for this test and believe it it's gonna be a test for everybody for those who know the scriptures front and back and for those who you know know just know the simple things like the name and the message right it's gonna be a test from everybody from top to bottom but the lord isn't gonna put anything on anyone that they can't bear you see and you have to believe that as well you got to understand like hey if the Lord is testing me with something, if he's putting me through a particular trial, I must be able to get through it. He wouldn't put this in front of me if I couldn't move it. He wouldn't put this mountain in front of me if I couldn't move it. So you got to understand that too in the days to come. Because it's, it's, it's going to be things that we've never witnessed that are going down, man. Things that we have no point of reference to even understand. So it's not going to go how people think it's going to go. But what's going to allow the elect to navigate it is going to be the faith that they've been endowed with. And that they act upon you see so you know there's the recipe and i love you know that's why i love reading you know first maccabees the second chapter 50 on down because you know it, it shows you throughout the volume of the book all the men of the lord that we were given to for examples for our learning they all were encountering situations that were, may have been foreign to them at the time but because they acted upon the faith that they had in the most high you know and ultimately in the sun because everything was bestowed upon the sun right they were able to navigate it and the navigation they had when other nations or people looked at how they were moving and what they what they was accomplished through their faith they knew that that was divine intervention that that wasn't something an ordinary man could do they, they people when they did these things the other nations always acknowledged oh that's the god of israel and the God of Israel is going to be acknowledged here in this time, even greater than when he was acknowledged during the first deliverance in uh, Egypt. It says that in uh, Jeremiah, the, the 15th chapter, I believe, they should no more speak uh, uh, of deliverance from Egypt, but the deliverance from the north country. All right, so we're getting ready to step into the climax of the movie. But we got to be climax ready. We got to be at, at, at the tip top of our game. And the Lord's going to boost our spirits up to do things that we wouldn't be able to do normally. Right? But as long as we believe, it's going to go down and we can't lose. We literally can't lose if we just believe. That's If you just believe, it's, you're, a sh you're a shoe in for the W. But this isn't the focus for a lot of people that know they're Israelites. A lot of them, you know, it, this thing has become a fad. It's become about something else. So you're going to see a lot of people who know the Israelites still fold. But, hey, we got to be grateful that we've been endowed with the proper understanding. And, and we've been we've told the right things to look out for. And, you know, we, we have the opportunity, right, to prepare ourselves mentally, you know, spiritually for these tests. So, you know, Lord willing, um... The lesson was edifying. I'm driving right now. There's more precepts that obviously come to mind, but uh, it would be a blessing if you, if you brothers, you know that watch could uh, put those precepts up. So when you know people later come and watch this video, they'll see. Oh, okay, there goes some more precepts because this is this is this is the most important topic. This is what's going to get us through. You know. So with that being said, man, I want to give all praises once more to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakudash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to say shalom to all the brothers and, of course, the few sisters who are pursuing this truth in sincerity. All right? May the blessing of election be upon your house. Shalom.